Hey church, my name is Leonie and I just want to encourage you a bit of my, with my story today. Um, and yeah, I just hope that it will inspire you a bit and build up your faith. So yeah, I came at the beginning of the, G of the year from um, Germany to start doing Audacious College here in Manchester. And um, it was an adventurous story how I got here. Um, so I always dreamed of doing a Bible college after graduating from high school. And actually, I was very determined to go to Australia um, in order to do so. And I applied there for college and got in and um, everything seemed great. But then um, in August 2021, I just felt like God was placing a new thought in my heart because um, I was thinking about yeah, to take into consideration to do something else. Um, and this was a new thought for me because I was so determined for the last couple of years to do so. But I just said to Jesus, wow, okay, I will surrender my life and I want to do your will. Um, and the Holy Spirit gave me a good picture to understand a bit more like what's going on in my life. It's like when you have a navigation system and for me, my end destination was always super clear. It was Jesus. I just want to follow him and he's my, he's the goal for my life. And I thought the, the road or the path would be going to Australia and doing that. But then I just felt like the Holy Spirit is is saying to me, the route will be recalculated. Um, so I just prayed about it and I had so many different encounters with God and with people. And um, so I finally got aware of Audacious College. And I really felt like, okay, I think this is the place where God wants me to be for this time now. Um, so I applied and just everything um, really um, was falling into place. And um, I just learned so much that as long as your end destination is Jesus and that you, um, yeah, that you keep on being surrendered, then he will do the rest. The Holy Spirit will lead you. And um, it's amazing we can read that in the scripture as well. So we read in Romans 12 verse 1 the following. Therefore, I urge you, dear brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, um, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. So our job is to be a living sacrifice. And the beautiful thing about this godly principle of surrendering is that God knows anyway what's best for you and what you truly need. In Psalm 23 verses 1, 2, 3, we read the following. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Um, he makes me lay down in green pastures. He lays me beside quiet waters. Um, oh, sorry, he leads me besides quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. So Jesus is our good shepherd. So I just want to encourage you to trust him um, with your future, with what's coming next. And um, maybe today is the day where you, yeah, just pray this prayer of, like Holy Spirit, uh, what's your way? What, what do you want me to do next? Do you have something else for me? Where do you want me to be? These are bold prayers. And um, so why shouldn't we just trust him and let Jesus as our good shepherd do his work in our lives? So I hope um, this was encouraging for you and have a great day. See you soon.